What is going on guys? It is your boy King Kale here and I'm coming at you with another video. Uh, today will be about the topic of esports and let's get into the video. Competitive gaming, otherwise known as esports, has drawn more than 258 million views globally in 2016. According to Superdata, a researching firm has said esports has garnished more than 54 million views more than the NFL regular season of the same year. Now, just like regular sports, esports gets their money from investments, branding, advertisements, and media deals that have raked in $1.5 billion in revenue in 2016. Several of these lucrative leagues have lured investors from traditional sporting leagues, such as former NBA star Rick Fox, owner of esports team Echo Fox, which includes such players as Sonics Fox, the Kobe or LeBron of our era, Justin Wong, the Michael Jordan of the fighting game community, Perfect Legend, and Dragon, just to name a few, along with the New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft, owner of the newly launched Boston Uprising team, who will compete in the Overwatch League, have gotten the attention of the International Olympic Committee, who have reportedly considered adding esports to the Olympic Games. Now, if you have been living under a rock or have no idea what I'm talking about, esports is literally just turning games into sports. What makes a game an esport is basically if it's competitive to a point where it is enjoyable for both fan and player. Team-based shooters such as CSGO, Call of Duty, and Overwatch, just to name a few, are not only fun to play, but also fun to watch. Alongside them is the fighting game community, but games like Street Fighter, Injustice, and Skullgirls brings a whole different side to esports like watching boxing or UFC fighting, where winning is based off your own pure skill in practice at the game. Uh, games like Dota 2, which is to me like soccer, where it gets a lot of attention, way more or slightly more than my preferred sport, but I don't particularly watch, are the three biggest sides of esports. But the biggest challenge that the E-League faces along with its athletes is people don't see them as athletes. They see them as people being paid to just play games. Like any Joe Smo can come and compete at the same level as these athletes with the age old question of why watch someone play a game if you can just play them yourself. Which can be implied to any situation that would sound equally as smart as the question I just asked. like. Why watch basketball if you can just play basketball? Or why watch football if you can just play football? Which is true, but can't be a definitive argument if it can be just flipped right back at you. The fact that professional gamers aren't seen as athletes is the only bad thing that affects all players and anyone looking to join the league if they want to be seen that way, besides things like the cheating scandal in the past on CSGO. Now you're probably wondering why I would bring up esports as a topic of my video. Um, because your boy want to try out joining the fighting game community. Playing competitively in games like Injustice 2 and Dragon Ball Fighter Z that'll be coming out soon. And any other game coming out following these games. I think I can do it. I think I can make it. So I'll be signing up for tournaments when I know I'm ready. You might catch me a part of some tournaments if you watch tournaments of the fighting game community. Because I want to sign up. I think I'm pretty good. I do get a lot of wins when I play Injustice Online uh, in ranked matches. I recently recorded one so you'll probably see it in this video. So if you enjoyed the video leave a like and subscribe um, if this is your first video and leave a comment maybe we can go back and forth and I will catch you guys in my clip. Think about the rap game and hip hop's live state. It makes my blood pressure rise like Maryland's crime rate spread through the city like a sense of false virility from cats that clutch gats and lock down the vicinity. A lyrical entity.